today i am going to talk about rhetoric or figure of speech that has been prescribed in the syllabus of the fourth semester honors student as you know dear student in a last class that i took uh, through zoom app uh, i talked about what is rhetoric and uh, what is figure of speech and at the same time i talked about the two figure of speeches and these figure of speeches are simile and metaphor today i will talk about apart from simile and metaphor but as i said earlier i want to talk about rhetoric what is rhetoric rhetoric is a kind of ornament as ornament enhances the beauty of a person especially a woman in the same way rhetoric enhances the beauty of language so especially the poets in order to enhance the beauty of the language they use rhetoric in their writings more and more today i will talk about three different terminologies or figure of speeches and these are antithesis epigram and oxymoron these three terminologies or figure of speech or rhetoric are based on contradiction in the previous class that i took through zoom app i talked about simile and metaphor these two figure of speech that is simile and metaphor are based on similarity likeness but the three figure of speeches that i am going to discuss today are based on contradiction so what is antithesis if i define antithesis i can say antithesis is a figure of speech in which two contradictory ideas or statements sit side by side two contradictory ideas or statements sit side by side for example if i say united we stand divided we fall here two contradictory ideas united and divided sit side by side united we stand one idea and another idea is divided we fall and these two ideas are different are contradictory to each other so this is an example of antithesis another example i can point out that she tried to kill me he tried to save me here also two contradictory ideas that save and kill these two different verbs have been opposite verb contradictory verb verbs have been used in two different clauses she tried to kill me he tried to save me so this is also an example of antithesis next terminology is epigram epigram is also like antithesis based on contradiction if i define epigram it will be like this an epigram is a figure of speech in which two contradictory ideas or statements sit side by side but this gives an initial shock remember this gives an initial shock so if we compare the two definition of antithesis and epigram the two definition are almost similar there is an extra thing in epigram that is an initial shock if i again 
see the definition of epigram epigram is a figure of speech in which two contradictory ideas or statements sit side by side dear students mark here up to now the definition of epigram is just like antithesis but i am adding extra thing here and that is it gives an initial shock i am giving an example our enemies our enemies are our best friend remember the sentence i am again telling our enemies are our best friend so this sentence is an example of epigram how here two contradictory ideas friend and enemy our enemies are our best friend two contradictory ideas sit side by side and it gives an initial shock also if you brood over the line if you think over the line it will give an initial shock but after having a deeper look into the sentence you will be understand that yes our enemies are indirectly are our best friend because they help us in improving ourselves suppose in order to protect ourselves from the hand of our enemy we shall try to improve upon ourselves and in this way one day we will be very strong so see here dear students that our enemies are helping us to become more stronger day by day i am giving another example child is the father of a man child and father two contradictory child is the father of man here also mark that it provides an initial shock it creates in your mind a question how can a child be the father of man but after having a deeper look into the sentence you will be able to understand that really child is the father of man next terminology i am going to talk about is oxymoron oxymoron is also based on contradiction and in oxymoron we see two sentence in uh, two words instead of two sentences so if i give the definition of oxymoron i have to say oxymoron is a figure of speech in which two contradictory words are juxtaposed juxtaposed means sit side by side for example darkness visible mark the words darkness and visible how can the word how can darkness be visible or carefully careless carefully careless these are the examples of oxymoron dear students enjoy reading i will talk about the rest of the figure of speech in later lecture